Here we go. Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. You can see where we are. We're in a dark city ruins. We are allied with our greatest enemy, Shin. English is his name in Jin. You can see he's a lot taller than us. Takai desu ne. Or maybe we're just short. Uh, the word I wrote on there, yokoso, just means welcome. So welcome to Japanese Quest. Today our journey continues. Check it out. I think we're almost up to the world tree, finally. It is our goal to find the world tree. And to save the world. And right now to find the rest of our friends, because all we have right now is... Shin. <laughs> and we don't really trust him, because he has three goals. He wants to destroy all humanity. He wants to destroy the world. And he wants to... Kill God. None of which seem that good. Anyway, if you're just here for the first time, welcome to Japanese Quest. What we do here is two things. We play games and we learn Japanese. But the main focus is Japanese and leveling up in Japanese as we play through Japanese video games. On this channel, we will always play games in Japanese and learn Japanese as we go. I'm a Japanese teacher. My name is Akira Sensei, and that is the purpose of this channel. Uh, we mark progress on this journey in two ways. Vocab, which we record down here, and grammar, where we have a goal each day here. Today you can see our learning target is no, the no particle. And this is a special kind of no. It's the kind of no that turns something into a noun. It's called a nominalizer. And I also wrote koto up here, because koto is another way to turn a verb into a noun. So we'll look at both and see which we find more of. Maybe we can uh, mark which we find more of. We can see some of the differences today. And uh, the reason there's a heart right here, Kyo wa Valentine Day desu ne. Today is Valentine's Day. So we're going to start right away with showing how this power level works. Our power level is currently 291, meaning on this adventure, on this Japanese quest, so far we've learned 291 words. We're almost up to 300. All the words we've learned so far, you can see here, it's kind of like a record of our journey with vocabulary. Uh, we're going to add one more, though, just for Valentine's Day, just for fun. Sometimes we add words mostly from the game, uh, but also for special events or in chat, someone will say a word that they're thinking about. So yeah, anyone in chat, feel free to join and suggest words to add to our power level. But uh, let's go to the power-up screen. Uh, when would you use no versus koto? Well, that's what we'll kind of find out today. Uh, there are a lot of expressions that use koto specifically. For example, koto ga aru. Like if you had an experience, something like an experience, you can use that phrase. So there are set phrases with koto and then no. Uh, is sometimes used when you can't use koto if it's kind of a an immediate kind of situation, but it's kind of hard to explain. So we'll look for it. We'll look for it. But often you can use them at the same time as well. Uh, but for example, if you say like uh, like Nihon ni itta koto ga aru, it means I've had the experience of going to Japan. In that case, you can use koto. It's kind of a set phrase. I've done something. Uh, but we'll look today. See if we can see any of those differences. And uh, so let's look at this word today. Here's a keyword for today since it's Valentine's Day. Let's see here. Chotomate. Okay, so I love. Seems like a good keyword for today. We haven't learned it yet. I was kind of surprised we haven't. So if we copy that to our clipboard. Whoops. Why did it do that? Vegeta, what does the scouter say about it? Not sure what just happened there. Let's try to go back here again. Turn on that. Press C. Okay, good. He's copied the clipboard. And there we go. I. So if you want to say I love you, you can say something like I shiteru yo. So I sudu, you can add sudu to make it a verb. But usually you'll see Japanese people use ski instead. I is a bit too much. 
it's not really said in normal speech that much. Uh, you see it like in kind of commercials and things. So Okamijin says, I read about no for scenarios in which the subject is happening simultaneously. For koto, it is more abstract. Yeah, that's a good explanation. And there's actually a really good explanation of it on this J Japanese stack exchange. I really recommend this website uh, for looking at different kinds of grammar issues. But I looked at it earlier today, actually, for this episode. Uh, yeah, I think I won't go there right now, but uh, you can Google it. You can Google the difference between some of those things and find some of those differences. What does the scouter say about his power level? Ah, uh, so Napa asked, what's our power level? Good question. It's just one up. 292. So our power level is now 292. We now have the power of love. Ai no chikara. Whoa! I did not think there'd be a guy right there. What in the world? I don't want to fight that guy. Bikurista. Bikurista, bikurista. What is going on in there? There's like some kind of party in there or something. Koa. Koa. Kawaii. Okay, Yoshikimasho. So our current mission is to find the rest of our party, because we're in this kind of scary wasteland full of monsters. And uh, to get to the world tree. And then eventually to save the world. So our goal in Japanese. And anyone in the chat, you can uh, suggest words or help me find the goal. So our goal is to find no or koto. And they can make verbs into a noun, basically. For example, suru means to do. But if you put suru koto, it means like the act of doing. It makes it into a noun. For example, you can say tennis wo suru, to play tennis. If you say tennis wo suru koto ga suki desu, you can say I like playing tennis. So it changes it from just a verb to a noun, basically. And you could use no in that instance as well. A lot of times you can use both. So you could say tennis wo suru no ga suki desu. Yosha. All right, so we're going, let's look at the mini-map. All right, looks like we're going that way. Masugu desu ne. Ikimashou. So welcome, Okamijin. Good to see you again. Genki desu ka? How are you doing? Genki, Genki. Whoa, what in the world was that? Whoa. Kawai, kawai. Kawai, kawai. Nigero. Kawai. Eh, kawai. Daijobu kana. Daijobu denai. Eh, shinu. Shinu, shinu. We're gonna die, probably. Zetta shinu. Ah, shinu ka to motta. I really thought we were gonna die there. What are you saying there about Xenoblade? Ah, Giri Choco. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, what Ilkomijin is talking about is. Giri Choco. It means like obligatory gift giving chocolate. Like if you are working in a company. I've heard sometimes office ladies in Japan are supposed to give like a little piece of chocolate to like all the male co-workers it's called like giri choco some people don't like it eh looks like we're somewhere and in this game I don't know if, if we have it so all over it's it's completely kind of carbonized kind of burnt up alright so yeah this is the uh, the remnants of the Battle between Tenno Seihai, the two Aegis. Okay, now I was, I was kind of forgetting our target because I'm just kind of getting into the game, but let's remember 
So we're looking for no when it makes a verb into a noun and also koto. We're going to see which we can find more of and kind of see some of the differences. And also any words that jump out at you, we can add to our power level. So let's remember we're looking at this. And in the chat here, feel free to write that down or if you have any Japanese questions, feel free to ask. The whole goal here is to level up in Japanese and to level up in the game as well. Yosha, ikimashou. Also, everyone, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yosha. Kokoa. Kokoa? So, Koko, this place. So, what is this place? Eh. Alright, so it looks like. Uh, no. So it's a titan of Ida, this ancient group that now Shin is part of the remnants of, I guess. And it's their height, meaning lungs. So even in the ancient Ida here, so only not that many people knew about the existence of this place. Let's break that down a little bit. So, kagirareta means a limited number of people. And then, shika means the only a limited number of people knew about this place. Koko no sonzai. So, koko here, sonzai existence. So, only a few people knew about the existence of this place. Everyone else, shidanai. They don't know it. When you use shika here, we haven't yet learned this for our target. I think it's an N4 construction. We're still in N5, but it basically means only. And the ending will always be negative. We did learn dake, which also means only. But as we've seen in the game, that you might see shika even more, at least in this game. So this kind of place is really here. Ah, so this is a. Uh, or is that Hara? This is like the stomach of the Arusu. Blade, though, is that a blade? But it looks like a. It looks like a titan as well. Okay, so as it was changing into a titan, it decayed, withered away. So these are blades that I guess have died as they were becoming titans. I think we're going to learn something new about how titans work. Alright. So, and then Arusu is talk, talking more about Titans. So, Arusu wa sono tainai de. So, inside that body, core crystal o sai se suru. So, creates core crystals inside that body. Alright, so we found Koto already. And uh, this is one that's probably one of the most common, Sokomijin. One of the most common constructions. So we found koto. So let's write down, we found koto once. Why don't we get an uptime for that? If someone wants to do the uptime command, exclamation point uptime, we can say we found koto. So mita koto ga aru. So this, in this case, you would not use no. This is kind of a set phrase using koto. So mita koto ga aru, meaning have seen. So omae tachi mo ichiro gurai. So you guys too must have at least once seen this, seen this kind of titan. Uh, and you could use that with a lot of different things, not just titans. You could say, like, like sono ego, mita koto arimasu ka? Have you seen that movie? Have you seen anything? So koto ga aru is kind of a set phrase that will use koto specifically. You will not use no, and it means have had the experience of doing something. So, mita koto ga aru, have seen. Nice, let's continue. Let's look for more koto and more no and more words. And uh, let's keep this 
count here of koto one ichi desu ne. Aru hazu da. Blade to te. Sono inochi wa eigo dewa na. So blades too, their life is not not forever. Alright, so from Titans, these blades were born. Okamijin asks a question there. You can respond to those questions, koto ga aru, with arimasu. Yeah, often you'll hear just like, you could say that, or you could just do the short form. Often you'll hear, aru yo, aru yo, meaning I have done it, or arimasen. Or, or, or you could go nai, just say nai, nai desu ne, nai desu ne. So if you're going to be more polite, the ones you wrote, or you could just do aru or aru yo, um, or nai for a more casual answer. Good question, Okamijin. So when that, the flame of that light went out, the flame of that life goes out, so they'll go back to, uh, yeah, back to the, the body of the, the Titan. So eventually they'll change into an Arusu. So we're learning now a little bit about how blades work, that blades and Titans are kind of the same thing and blades can eventually transform into titans i guess that's true is that really true so are you saying eventually we'll become like this too so yeah that's that's the way this world works Alright, so when you become a titan, you don't remember what happened when you were a blade. Those memories, kyoku, memory, kyoku wa no, nakunaru. So a big theme in this game actually has been memories and losing memories, because it happens to pretty much all the blades. They live hundreds of years, but all of them, they talk about their kyoku, and goes away. Kyoku wa nakunaru. Chotto kanashi desu ne. It's a little bit sad. Koa ni modoru toki to douyo. So the same as when you go back to your core. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you mean like. Yeah, like. I think you're talking about like like studying titans basically like yeah you could say that <laughs> so all these guys here because they're kind of mother body this titan died they shared the same fate they died as well and uh we see a no here these two no's are not exactly the no that we're looking for just want to point that out so this so we don't need an uptime um although this koto i didn't notice it but this koto is what we're looking for so this koto makes all of what's before it a noun. So ida no arusu. So talking about this whole titan here, the, the titan of ida, the fact that it died. So all of this is made into a noun. The death of this titan. And so de means with the death of this titan. So with the death of this titan. Ume o tomo ni shita no daro. So they had the same fate. Unme meaning fate. So all the blades here died too. They shared the same fate as the Titan here. And this no 
it doesn't make this a noun. This is the kind of explanatory no saying this is an explanation of what happened. But this koto here does make all of this a noun. It's a little tricky. If it's confusing. Don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, at Okamijin, actually, could we get an uptime? Because we did find koto again. If anyone could uh, write in exclamation point uptime, that would be cool. Because we did find koto. So let's put koto up to two here. Arigato gozaimasu. So interesting, we found two koto and zero no. I'm not surprised. Koto, by the way, I think is an N4 list. So it's not on our list. But it's interesting how it's not always in the order you might expect. This no might be harder to find than this than koto. Because koto is used in a lot of different ways. Then let's continue. Yosh. We still have not found the rest of our group. We still have Shin with us, giving us a history lesson. Is it common to nominalize adjectives? Uh, my understanding is that nominalize means making a verb into a noun, but like many adjectives can be nouns as well. So if that's what you mean, then yeah. Uh, for example, pretty much all na adjectives can be a noun or an adjective. But often, like e adjectives or na adjectives, they just will modify a noun and then they'll become part of a noun. But they just modify the noun. Kind of in the similar way that the verb modifies the noun. Like the verb, when you add koto, it adds information about that noun. Because koto by itself or no by itself just means like a thing, right? But it gives you information. So an adjective and a verb can both give information about that noun. Whoa, Kawhi, where are we going here? Naritaka Knight, I do not want to fight these guys. What are you talking about, Rex? Rex wants to fight. I do not. Uh, so, no koto mono. Yeah, they can all be similar. I'd say, yeah, to look at what you wrote, it's kind of helpful to break that down. So, koto kind of means thing. And then mono also means thing. Uh, but mono is for more tangible objects. So like if I have a rock here, say this is a rock. This is a rock sitting on the ground here. That's mono. But koto is more like uh, intangible things. Uh, like thoughts, abstract things. So for example, like if Rex is thinking here, this is a thought bubble. He's thinking. So that would be koto. So koto is kind of thoughts, intangible things, experiences, memories. Mono is things like trees, books, etc. And then, uh, yeah, no. It's, it doesn't really mean this by itself, but if you add it to a verb, then it can make it into a noun. But yeah, it's a little confusing. Don't worry about being confused by it. This is kind of confusing, but one of the reasons we're looking at both of these, no and koto, is to see some of the differences. And how about if we find mono also? Let's take a look at that, because mono is a little different. Ooh, can we jump inside this weird egg? Yatta, we're inside the weird egg. What if we got stuck in that egg? So koto and mono are kind of like sudo and yaru. Uh, no, I wouldn't say that. I mean, sudo and yaru both mean to do, but yaru kind of is more casual. At least that's the simple way of explaining it. 
Uh, whereas koto and mono both mean thing, but mono means like things that are tangible that you can touch, things like rocks, uh, things like a tool, dogu toka, ishi toka. Whereas koto is like ideas, memories, abstract things, things that you can't touch. Yoshikimashou. いきましょう。え、怖い。怖い、怖い。え、何これ。え。何何何。怖い。え。やばいやつ。死ぬ。腹切りたいだ。は、let's hide the egg. Tomago more associated with physically doing tangible uh, yeah, maybe a little bit, but I think of generally yaru and suru as meaning to do. Um, but they have pretty similar meaning, whereas koto and mono have a very different meaning. Like, they both mean a thing, but one is like a thing you can touch, one is a thing you can't touch like an idea or a memory or something. So it's the meaning is very different. All right, where are we going here? Okay, we can see where we're going. Okay. Speaking of eggs, I was reading about tamago. Ah, interesting. Yeah, so the first kanji there, tamago for cooking and the second tamago for general use yeah interesting yeah you certainly see both but i wasn't sure about all the subtleties myself good to know arigato okay probably up there right Is this the right way? Tabun. Eh! Nande! Why are they so strong? These guys are ridiculous. Okay, are we going the right way? Yeah, it looks like most likely we want to go straight around and then up there. Let's look at our path so we don't die again. あっちに行って、そして右に曲がって、左にそしてまっすぐ。そうだろ。よし、行きましょう。Think that should work. どれどれ。よっしゃ。Eh, quite. Alright, so this time we need to not get lost. We need to somehow Okay. So we can kinda of see here. What I missed this time is this ramp. I think we need to go up there. Arewa Mokutekidesne. That is our goal. Yeah, it's very it's very common. And hopefully we'll see it, but people don't talk about what they like that much in here, so we might not see it. But yeah, Nogaski is very good for first when you're learning, because you can talk about what you like. But you also see Kotogaski as well. Both are common. Yoshikimasho. Eh? 
怖い逃げろー逃げろえー、逃げろえー、なんでブリッジがない So there's no bridge What in the world? How do we get up there? Oh good, they stopped How do we get up there then? Anyone know how do we get up there? Up there, maybe? Not so cool. Let's give it a try. Yosh. We seem to be high enough now. The correct elevation. We can maybe jump down from over there. Ikimasho. Let's look for more of our target again. Anyone joining? If we find the target in the upper left, help us out and tell us. I might miss it. We're looking for no and koto and new words for our power level too. Let's do this. Uh, kara. So from the core, kara meaning from, blade ga umare. So the blade is born from the core. And then blade wa arusuni. So then it goes back to the titan. Blade wa arusuni. So shite arusu wa. So then that Titan supports many lives. And then eventually from again Kara, Arusu Kara, so from that Titan, a new core is born. Okay, nice. Inochi no Junkan. So that is the cycle of life for a blade. Inochi no Junkan. Korega. Kamiga Sadameta Sek. Alright, so this is the kind of the way the world works decided by God. Tai no Kotobarida. So ste Koko Ida no Shinko no Tai. And it's also the, uh, Taisho, the target of faith, Shinko meaning faith, like religious faith, the faith of this ancient country, Ida, was this process, I guess. So yeah, they they kind of uh they worshipped and revered the Titans. Okay, so what they aimed for was so living, living along between blades and humans. So blades and humans living together. That's what they aimed for. Mezashita, to aim for. Kunidatta. Daga. So Daga, but all right. So we just learned that last verb there. Let's hear him say it in a second. But it means that's not what they hoped for. That is not what humanity hoped for. 
So yeah, the final, the kind of final thing, uh, was the battle with Mets, Mets, the final straw. Then humans, I guess, didn't want to live with blades anymore. Okay, so that was right after you left Ida along with Adelu. So we see Koto again, but it's not the kind of Koto that we need to mark here. We found two with Koto making a verb into a noun. But here it's just talking about Koto, just means like a thing, an event. Again, it's the kind of thing you can't touch. So it's talking about Sugu ato no koto. So the thing that happened right after he left, which is the thing he's talking about before. So Adru to tomo ni ida o satta sugu ato no koto. So everything he talked about before happened right after Adam left Ida. So in this case, koto means like event, basically. It's the thing that happened. I keep erasing my two here, but I do want a two. We did find two koto. We're still looking for no. So, ano toko wa marubeni wa oretachi o. So, he's talking about marubeni and they, he did something to them. Toko wa marubeni wa oretachi o. Ano hito ga? So, that person, what did he do? Nani o shita no? So yeah, what did you do? Okay. Here we see the no particle. This works. If we didn't get an uptime, that'd be awesome. We found no. So we found one no now. So let's put a one up here. Ichi. We koto ni. We found two of that. Uh, let's see here. Kono kuni o. Metsubo saseta no wa. So, metsubo saseta. So, destroyed the country. So, it's making all of that into a noun. So, like, the event of destroying the country was not the Aegis, was not the Holy Grail. Ten no sehai dewa nai. So, it's just talking about who destroyed this country. So, Shinni, the one who really did it. Shinni kono kuni o metsubo saseta no wa. So the one who destroyed this country was not the Aegis. So it was not Metsu, I guess. So this no here kind of means like the one who destroyed it so the one who destroyed this country was not the Aegis. So this no might be a little bit different than what we're looking for because it's kind of a placeholder for like who destroyed it, like the one who destroyed it. But we'll keep it because we found no. even though it is a little different. In that case, it means like the one who destroyed it. You could not use koto there. Um, but you could do something like hito there. Metsubo saseta hito wa tenno sehai dewa nai. So like the person who destroyed it. Although I don't think he wants to restrict it to just people, so you wouldn't use person there, but it's kind of a similar meaning. All right, let's continue. Tenno sehai dewa nai. Okay, so this is a big reveal. You heard the sound there. So the one who destroyed this was not the Tenosei. It was Arcadia, like the holy city, right? I believe, although my politics of this game is not, not the best. Eh? What? We're learning the truth. The Pope, the guy who looked like a supervillain. Maybe he was, maybe he is a supervillain. Eh? 
flashback. You do it. We're finally finding out why Shin got so messed up, why he hates humans so much. Why he went from being a pacifist for, to wanting to kill everyone. So look, keep looking, he must be somewhere hiding somewhere nearby. It's okay. So even if I die, you'll just go to sleep again. So as time passes, someone else will find you. Okay, interesting. We found Koto again. So that's our third Koto we found. So let's mark it, and if we could get an uptime, that'd be great. Onegaishimasu. So it's three to one, and the no wasn't even exactly the no we're looking for. So ningen wa ne. So speaking for humans. So when it comes to hum humans, dareka ni so it makes this whole verb here, being forgotten, into a noun. So being forgotten by someone. No hoga zutto tsurai. So being forgotten by someone is much worse. Tsurai meaning like difficult or hard. Uh, so it's much worse to be forgotten um, than to be on the other side of it. So what she's saying is. Like, she has it easy. She's dying, but, like, yeah, but I'll be forgotten. You won't be. You'll find someone else. You can be remembered again. So, anyway, this koto here just makes this verb to be forgotten into a noun. So, being forgotten by someone, and then this whole part on the other side just describes that. Is much worse to be forgotten by someone than the alternative. So yeah, he's, she's saying like you'll forget, but it's much worse to be forgotten. Dakara. Yeah, so keep. Keep living. Ikiru, keep living. Ikiru. So the next time you wake up, yeah, you'll have forgotten about me. And again, we see koto. It's not making something into a verb this time. It just means watashi no koto. So about me is basically what it means. So all about me. So you'll have completely forgotten about me at that time. So watashi no koto. You'll often see this no koto with a watashi or a nata. Uh, actually, since it's Valentine's Day, I should probably say this. So a common way to do a kokuhaku, to like confess your love in Japan, is to say, especially on dramas at least, <laughs> so anata means you. But it's often using koto. Sorry, sorry about my writing here. Anata no koto.
So, not no koto. Ga. The ga sometimes is dropped. Not no koto ga ski. And then that's the big confession. But sometimes there's a big like pause after not no koto. You kind of know what's coming. That's all you need to say in a way. Anata no koto. Because it means you're saying something about them. Anata no koto. Suki. Or anata no koto ga. Daisuki. That's a way to, uh, for Valentine's Day, if you want to confess your love in Japanese, you can do that. Uh, so ski is more emotional than daisuki. No, I wouldn't say so. Daisuki, I mean, daisuki means, you know, an even bigger kind of like or love. But I'd say that usually ski is probably more common. So, anata no koto suki or anata no koto daisuki. Both very common. And definitely more common than saying, like, aishiteru. Like, I means love, but ski is much more common. So, if you ever want to kokuhaku, confess your love in Japanese, now you can do that. Yosha. So you'll forget about me. All right. This is the no that we're looking for. So now we have two for no, one for koto. If we could up time, that would be awesome to mark where we are. Onegaishimasu. Arigato. And uh, so no makes everything before it, that verb, into a noun. So anata ni wasurareru no ga. So being forgotten by you. Making that being forgotten into a noun. So uh, thank you, Panda, for putting that down there. Uh, and welcome. Good to see you, Panda. You're looking majestic today. And uh, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'll put time in katakana. Yeah, that might not work. But anyway, this no here, it's called the nominalizing no. It makes verbs into a noun. So she's saying, being forgotten by you, Shin. And she hasn't described what it's like yet. But something will come here next. So being forgotten by you. The whole noun of that. She's going to describe it now. And again we see it. Again we see the no. This is a great sad scene with lots of no's. Can we get the uptime again? Onegaishimasu. This is a really good one for this. So now we found three. So we're three to three. Three to three. Onegaishimasu. So kizuna, the connection. This is like a like a deep felt bond between people. So kizuna ga kieru no ga. So making that into a ver into a noun as well. So losing that connection. Sabishi. So it's really lonely, and I'll really miss my connection with you and being forgotten by you makes me feel really lonely. Yatta. And uh, yeah, I do think I want to throw in one more uptime. Let's see if I can find the chat myself here. I can probably do it because we found another one here. Uptime, exclamation point. All you got to do is write exclamation point uptime. I know these are so close together, it's kind of silly, but just want to be sure. Yatta. So we're 50 minutes in. Very nice. And we already found three and three. Not too bad. So yeah, in that one sentence, you'll notice she used the no to make something into a noun twice. So losing the connection with you in the part before, being forgotten by you, both of those things are this adjective, sabishi, lonely. 
And to be honest, I don't think we've learned this word yet, but since it's a really big sentence here and a really big moment with Shin, why don't we add this to our power level as well? Let's look at this word, Sabishi. Because she's very Sabishi in this moment, losing the connection with Shin. And it kind of is the opposite in a way of the other word we learned today, I love, kind of goes with Valentine's Day in a way. Um, sa -bi. I think I'm writing it wrong. Sabishi. There we go. So lonely, lonesome. She feels very Sabishi. So why don't we add that to her power level as well, along with I today. Also, I've heard some people might feel a little sabishi on Valentine's Day. Because everyone's talking about, you know, love and everything. So let's learn. So we have I, now we have sabishi in this kind of sad scene here. Yosha. All right, let's continue the scene. say about his power level so again the last thing she said is sabishio it's lonely it's sad losing the connection with you and being forgotten by you so desu ne yeah well put okamijin sabishi hito desu ne shinwa yeah shin is very lonely that's why rex always says he has this kind of sad look in his eyes and this is kind of the sad scene for why that is so it's a good time to add Sabishi. I bet on Valentine's Day, Shin is feeling kind of sad. He probably misses Laura, especially on Valentine's Day. So it's a good time. Good timing for this scene, honestly. Sabishi. Wow. So it looks like the last thing she said, Sabishi. And now he's saying, I will not forget. There's no way I'll forget. So that's what he's saying. So I, and then Kimio, so you, and then implied would be something like. I should it. I love you. Something like that. But that verb is kind of implied with the line there. Oh, so she did say something else. I know. I know. So I. Yeah, th th that this day would someday come. It's, it's it's too bad. I can't handle it. I'm sorry to trouble you. So it's 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 still there. At least one more. I'm not sure what he's talking about there. Ah, uh, one way to live together. Interesting. So kimito with you. Orega ikiru hoho. So hoho means way. Ikiru to live. So there's one way I can still live with you. And maybe he'll describe that way now. I guess he whispered it to her. Eh. Sugoi.
So this is when Shin snapped, it looks like. Yeah, maybe that does explain why his heart is human. Ningen no Shinzo desu ne. So desu ne. Let's remember, still looking for that target. No, at least a couple more times. So I. I ate her? <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, so after I left, something like that happened. So again, we see Koto. It's not the Koto that we need to look up here. It's not changing a verb. But again, you just see how common Koto is. Talking about like an experience. So, Watashi ga satta atto ni sono Koto. So this kind of thing happened after we left. And kind of like implied I can't believe something like this happened after I went to sleep and you'll often see in this game we must have seen it many many times so no koto this kind of thing this kind of thing so you use koto a lot more than mono actually because you talk about like events a lot like that kind of thing happened <laughs> So Marubeni, who feared the power of the Aegis. So after Metz was gone, um, the leftovers of the uh, army with Ida, wow, he completely wiped them out. Or tried to wipe them out. But you were already not there. And all of us were kind of spread over the world. A lot of them were killed, it sounds like. So even if you were not there, he will... People did, people did the same thing, right? So wiping out all the blades, I guess they're talking about. So onaji koto, again meaning thing. So like onaji, same, so like the same thing. People did the same thing, right? Kami ni erabare, yagate wa arusu tonari. So, chosen by God, eventually become a titan. Like, become part of the world. And we're... Yeah, and people were scared of us. So that's why they attacked all of you? So the savers of the world, Chiana, no, it's different. So the real reason, and he's talking again about this Pope guy, the Praetor. He's the one who kind of wiped all of them out, it sounds like now. It's finally coming out. The real reason he was looking for Lakuen, for Elysium. So Ryu means reason. Honto no Ryu, the real reason. He's looking for that place. He wants the power of God. That's his true goal. Yatsuno Mokuteki goal. Blade to Arusu. This world will be destroyed. 
Uh, so to, he wants to wipe out blades and titans from this world. Sekai cut up, so from the world, wipe them out. Ah, and I was going to miss it, but we see Koto here. So this is telling the goal of kind of the main villain of this game now. And they use Koto to describe that goal. If we could get enough time, that'd be great, because we found Koto again. This is the fourth one. It's turning everything before it into a noun. In this case, destroying all blades and titans, like wiping them out from the world. And then Koto, making that into a noun. Saseru Koto da. So he wants to do all of that. So his goal is wiping out all blades and all titans. Essentially. Arigatouzaimasu. Nice, so we found it. And let's continue. So we're up to four on Koto. Saseru Koto da. Okay, so that's why he's been protecting Rex and the Aegis. Because he wants power. So even if that is true, even if that is true, isn't that the same as you? The same as what you've done as well? Um, so we see Koto again. See, it's really common. So we found enough for Kulta now. We found five, actually. So let's write a five here. If we get one more uptime on Koto, that would be awesome. So yatte kitta koto. So this is the verb. So what you guys did, make it into a noun by using koto, and then to onaji. So isn't that the same as what you guys did? Like, you know, trying to get power and rule the world, take everyone out, essentially. Isn't that pretty much the same as what you did? You can see he's mad. So he's saying, yeah, the Praetor, this Pope guy, is trying to wipe out all the blades and all the titans. But isn't that pretty much the same as what you've been trying to do? Yatte kitta koto to onaji. The koto again. Just making, so what you guys did, into a noun. So the stuff you guys did, it's the same as that. Yeah, I thought at least Koto would be not hard to find. You see that all the time. And we've seen other Kotos used in different ways, right? The power of Koto. We now have the power of Koto. It's a very good power. You can unlock lots of areas in Japan with that power, trust me. So yeah, these are all the people they killed, just as a reminder. The same, they, so they've done the same thing. It's not like they're, you know, some moral example. Plus, they want to wipe out all humans, take over the world, destroy the world, and kill God. So there's that. Right, right, right. So this is what I just said. So humanity, the world... You want to destroy that. Also, God, you want to destroy God as well. That's what you said, right? That's right. Is that true? Is that really? Nani what? Okay, so I don't think that's your true goal. So why do you say that? I understood when I fought you. Alright, so he's going back to the this again. So your eyes. He's going back to the eyes. Your eyes are too sad. I guess you cannot destroy the world, kill God and humanity when you have sad eyes. Hmm, maybe he's right, we'll see. 
悲しすぎるよあれは自分が消えたくて消えたくてしょうがない人の目 So those are the eyes of someone who wants to disappear themselves まるで初めて会った時のホムラみたい So kind of like Homura when I first met her So, so we see koto again, but this time it's after an adjective. So you can use it as meaning like a thing, like an interesting idea. So you're saying, and you make an interesting point, basically.、Uh, I'm more familiar with kanashi. Oh, really? Did you look that up? Kanashi is an outdated kanji? Yeah, I'm, I'm more familiar with the first one as well.、Um, but you do see both. And in the game, they did use the second one, didn't they? I feel like there are some different nuances as well, that maybe the second one was more appropriate. <laughs> so, yeah, you're free to think whatever you want. I will carry out my goal. So, yeah, the God who created us. So, humans who have received the protection of God, I'm going to wipe out all of them. Just that. So, yeah, we're not just blades, all of us. We're not just, you know, to, we're not just tools to help humans. The word here, dogu, means tool. And then, dogu janai, we're not just your tool. We're not just the tool for humans. Dogu janai. All right, we found Koto again. Don't have to mark it because we did find five, but check it out. We found Koto again. So, what I do. So, yaru to do, Koto, what I do. Then, in that case, what I do, there's only one thing I can do. It's already decided what I must do. So, kimaru means to decide. Kimateru. It's already decided what I must do then. And then, nara meaning, all right. So, if what you say is true, then there's only one thing I can do. Yahari, as expected. So, he has no will of his own. So he's kind of like a biological weapon. So he's just going to wipe out everyone else, that's all he does. So he is the sin of humans. So I must. Boss, this ne. Come on, Mas. Okay.、Um, so it's saying fighting this guy normally, he'll be a tough opponent. So, yeah, we want to pro probably bring Homura to her full power. So, once we get Party Gauge up all the way, we can use her. Power. Sounds good to me. Wow, level 60? This could be bad. Oh, we're already all the way full, huh? Okay. Let's. Let's do it. Gamarimasu. 
See if we can get a double holy combo going, that'd be nice. That's holy again. Yatta. Yatta, yatta. Take my stone. Eh? So, can you use the device? So, sorry, but it seems like my. Order does not reach him because there's kind of a this the cloud sea is in the way. So we gotta defeat it on our own, on our on our own. It looks like. Nothing we can do other than defeating it. All right. So let's do an attack and then let's. Let's jump in. We can use our our kind of a future detecting t technique. I forget what that's called in English. Um, so let's at full speed we can change into a Hikari. Understood. Let's go. Eh? Kaminari. Lightning. Could it be? Yatta! Homura! Bujika! Homura, are you okay? Basically, Shulk mode. Shulk mode? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I was like, Shulk mode? What do you mean? Like, for a minute, I thought. For a second, I thought our name was Shulk in this game. <laughs> so let's take this guy down. Understood. The gang's back together again. Yatta. Yatta, yatta. Gamrimas. Gamrimas. So we cannot transform yet into the other form. Oh well. Yosha, let's get a combo here. Wind combo. Okay, we can do that. Yep, da. Let's do wind again, maybe. Start a new combo. So we can go wind, wind. Rock. Let's do that. Kaze Kaze Cheetah's neck. Well, Nia is in serious trouble here. This is bad. Oh no. Where is Nia? This is bad. I didn't realize we're in such trouble. I don't have my healer. That's one problem. Oh no, now I died. Shinda. Can only transform once per battle. Yeah, it could be. It's not good because we're dying here. We're gonna die. This guy's level 60, it's just too much. Shinda. Everyone died. Shinda. Yeah, we could really use our healer here. 
死んだうん OK let's see if I can get my healer on me that would be nice Certainly don't need fire. Are we to teleport here? Yeah, it looks like we are. Wouldn't mind going to an inn right now. Why don't we do that quickly? For that fight. We could probably level up a bit. I believe there's a free inn at our house back here. Eat the meal, let's go call home for a minute. If anyone has any tips for that battle, feel free to use chat to uh, give tips in the battle or in Japanese. If anyone's just coming in, welcome to Japanese Quest. Our goal here is to level up in the game by beating that guy, but also the main focus is leveling up in Japanese. So any words we find in the game here, feel free to post in chat, we can uh, increase our power level. One gold, this is the cheapest hotel. Yatta. Yatta. Level up push mashtane. Sugoi. Yatta. Let's also level up in Japanese. I forgot to change the power level earlier. It should be 293. If we see more words, I can go up more. Current power level 293, you can see in the bottom right there. Uh, so let's go see your parents' graves again? Really? But we went before. Do you have something you want to do there? We see koto again there. And hanashitai koto ga aru means I have something I want to talk about. So the something is koto. And want to talk, hanashitai. So there's something I want to talk about with your parents. Really? Ikokoro gake janaika. So that's. Seems like a good idea. Shikarito escorto shte yari nakya. Rexu, you must escort her. Ch, wokatta, I understand. Hmm. Where are the graves? Should we check the grave, you think? What do you say, anyone in chat? Should we check the grave or go back and fight that guy again? Where is the grave, anyway? Hakaba wa doko desu ka? Haka wa doko? Hana says go shujin, not go shujin sama. I think she might say both, I'm not sure. Did... Let's check out how our pouch items are for this battle as well. Okay, so we're missing one on Rex. That is not good. Let's add another for Rex. Yatta, skina yatsu. Watashi no skina yatsu. So she likes that cake, so good choice. Uh, yeah, don't know where that gravesite is, so maybe let's just go back and do the battle for now. Uh, maybe a quick check to see if we have anything else to do here. So we did this before. Get that experience. Grave is to the east. Naruhoro. Get some power up there. 
Got all those. Let's try some of these, I guess. Yosha. I uh, just realized the meaning of Goshujin. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, master, right? Okay, we sent out our mercenary group. And, uh, yeah, we all ate our... Are the graves up there, is it? If it's that close, let's just go to it. Itemio. Ah, Kizuna talk heart to heart, ne? So, were, were you able to talk to them? Ah, oh, is that what the dictionary says? Interesting. Yeah, I feel like it... Yeah, Shujin by itself, I often hear for master. Then go Shujin sama Husband and master. Interesting. So were you able to talk with them? Yes. Yep, we were able to... To, to uh... You could eat, meaning kind of slowly had a good talk. So what did you talk about? Okay, so again there we see Koto. So I told them about Sensei, yeah, the time from Sensei met Rex. So no Koto meaning referring to kind of all the things that happened since she met Rex. And I, and I told them to Anshin to relax to feel at ease because I will I'll take care of Rex from now on. He's saying you don't have to you know, worry about me too much. I can look. I can look after myself. No, that's not okay. Oh no, you found Kudasai. Oh man, missed it. Why don't you? Uh, let's. Actually, let me look at when you said that. I've got a pop out chat, and I put the time signature. So you said that at nine twenty three. So I'm going to go to our level up screen, power up screen, and mark that. So let's go to our our grammar page, our language arts page. It's all the ones we've learned so far. And then for Kudasai, you can't really see it because it's off the screen on there, but I will add the time you wrote and the episode. So we're in episode 28, I believe. And I'll mark that there. If anyone wants to check that out, you can see that linked in the language arts section on the Twitch page. So that's marked there. You can go back and find that if need be. Yosha. So let's go back to the game. Vegeta, what that should be marked. Say about his power level? Okay, yeah. Nice. So they, she said, Anshinshite kudasai. So yeah, please. The kudasai there just meaning please. So please. Please have peace of mind. Please relax because I'm going to take up. I'm, I'll take care of uh, Rex from now on. Thanks for marking that, Okamijin. I missed it. Yeah, we're still looking for a couple more Kudasai and Ya. Yeah, if I if I if I don't look over Rex, he'll just keep doing crazy things. <laughs> So you're acting just like a, a wife there, aren't you? Ji-chan, Gramps, what are you saying? 
A wife? That's... That's not what I'm... That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> Jodan, just joking. Just joking. <laughs> yeah, you're dealing with the Rex here. It's okay if you're a little forceful with it. <laughs> Gramps, Green Dragon, Seiryu-san. What are you doing? Stop embarrassing us. Well, we're already finished, right? Let's go back. But we're already going back? Can't we talk a little bit more? Can we talk more once we go back? But we hardly ever have a chance to talk, just the two of us. Hey, that's a kind of a good uh, little sentence for Valentine's Day, since we're Valentine's Day today. Uh, it's a good phrase for Valentine's Day. Let's take a look at it. So, futari. Futari kiri means just the two of us. So we don't usually have a chance to talk just the two of us. So futari kiri de, just the two of us. Ohanashi de kiru kikai. So we don't normally have the chance to talk just the two of us. So wanai. So we don't usually have that chance. Speaking of hitori futari, maybe we should add those to our list. Since we just saw hitori futari. Futari kiri. Could be an idea. What are we up to with our power level now, anyway? We're up to 293. Yeah, why don't we add Hitori and Futari? That will get us up to an even 295. Might be nice. Level up ushio. So Hitori is the counter for one person. You can say Hitori de, like by myself. It's kind of related to the word before, sabishi, because it can be alone by yourself sometimes. It's a good word to learn here. Hitori. One person. Just the kanji for one and the kanji for person. So let's copy it. Let's add it to our power level here. And then futari. Two people. I did. I wrote it wrong there. It's li futari. Two people. By the way, three people is san nin. San meaning three, nin meaning people. After that, it's easier. It's not irregular anymore. But the first two are kind of irregular. Uh, they did use a different reading here, ichi nin, nin nin. But we'll change those later. The more common one is hitori futari. And uh, let's look here. Futaritomo, both people. Futarikiri, just the two of them. That's the word that uh, was used by Homura there. It's nice to be just the two of us. Futarikiri de. A lot of people on Valentine's Day might like to be this. Futarikiri de. They'll go on a date toka. Anyway, so our power level then is up to almost 300. Yeah, what does the scouter say about his power level? So what's the scouter say? Current power level 295. Thanks for asking, Nappa. Yosha. So we were at 5 for Koto and still 3 for No. Yosh. So, demo. So, but Jichun is here too. We can't really say we're just the two of us. <laughs> so, are you saying I should leave? Are you saying that an old person's going to get in the way? No, that's not what we're saying. Stop teasing us. Ha ha ha, it's it's nice being young, isn't it? Alright, so she'll probably ask us a question now. 
So, what do you want to ask? What do you want to ask? So, what do you want to ask? Kikitai koto. Do you have anything you want to ask? So koto just meaning a kind of a thing then, with like an idea. So do you have anything you want to ask me about? So, aru no ka. Do you have something to ask me about? So we got two chances. What should we choose? Why don't we vote? Anyone watching, feel free to weigh in. So what should we ask? Pirate right now. Um, so, nani o shitsumon shimashou ka? Shitsumon means question, so which question should we ask? O ka san to oto san ga uh, koishi desu ka? Uh, Zutto mura ni shiokuri o shite tan desu ka? Uh, So yeah, like, do you miss your father and mother? I believe that's saying. Um, these questions are kind of tricky, though. Um, let's look up the verb there or the uh, adjective there. So koishi, I believe it is. So yeah, Koishi, do you miss your father and mother? Does she have a father and mother? I don't know, that question kind of confuses me. Uh, okay, and then the second question. Zutto muru ni shiokuri wo shiteru desu ka? So yeah, you were, were you always in that town. Let's look at that word shiokuri as well. Ah uh, yeah, so this is what Rex does a lot. Okuru to send. Shiokuri is like an allowance or to send money. To be honest, not a word I'm super familiar with, but in this game it's what Rex does because he's a good kid. So uh, he's saying, like, have you always sent money home? Okay, I was confused here. I thought that Rex was asking this question. Because I thought Rex usually asks these questions for these heart-to-hearts. But actually, it's Homura asking the question. <laughs> okay, that makes a lot more sense. I was finding these questions to be kind of confusing. Yeah, I, I think I would have known what I was talking about if I had known that. So yeah, the one asking the question is Homura. I'm used to the main character asking the question. So, do you miss your parents, or have you always sent home, like, sent money home to your parents? So, which one should we say? That is the question. Do you miss your parents, or Vegeta, what does the scouter say about it? have you always sent money to your parents? And, uh, yeah, again, power level 295. So, let's see. So, you said, oh, yeah. So, I'll take that as a vote for number one. Okamijin, because he talked about Oya, meaning parents. Oka-san to Oto-san. Yeah, why don't we say the first one? I'll vote for the first one, too. Oto-san to Oka-san ka. Demo, doushite sonna koto kikun da? So my father and mother, why do you ask that? Watashi, blade da kara, ryoushin to ka yoku wakaranai shi, donna kanji na no ka na? Well, I'm a blade, so I don't really know about my parents, so I was wondering what it's like, you know, having parents. Hmm. Uh, now that you mention it. So all I really know about them is what I've heard from Jichan and uh Koruredu Obasan back at the village. So, yeah, to be honest, I don't remember them very much. And, uh, so yeah, I don't have much of a solid memory of them in that time. So there's the word we just learned. Sabishi. 
but she's putting in the negative form. Sabishi kunai. Sabishi kunai desu ka? So are you not lonely? Not remembering your parents? Well, now we are, now that you said that. Okay. Very Rex answer. So I haven't really thought about it too much. Can we see koto? I haven't really thought about it too much. I haven't had the experience of doing that. And he says, So I wouldn't say I'm not lonely. So kind of confusing there because you see a negative and a negative. So it's kind of a, ne a double negative, meaning so he is kind of lonely about it. He is kind of sabishi about it. Uh, but he doesn't think about it too much. Really? Well, the one who the people who raised me were Ji Chan and the people in the village here. By the way, that last thing there was a no, but I don't know, maybe we've seen enough. But just for the heck of it, if someone wants to do an uptime, we could do that because we did miss a no back there. And it was a pretty good one. But the way he used it was the ones who raised me, he made all of that into a noun by using no and then described it by saying Ji Chun and the people in the village. Those are the ones who raised me. Thanks, Okamijin. So we got that time and now we have four on no. So that should pretty much be enough. Aru! Konbanwa, just in time, we have one more no to find. We already find five koto. We found four no. We need one more. Thanks for bringing the dragon hype. Let's bring more. Let's bring one cat as well. Yatta. Genki desu ka? Were you streaming, Aru? Good to see you. We're about to fight a boss as well. So yeah, what he's saying here is all the people in the village are my family. Uh, you were watching Fairy Tale. Nice. Has that has that anime finished? So yeah, I've never really thought I'm lonely when I have that like I have a lot of fathers and mothers and siblings because everyone in the village is my family. I just finished. Naruto. Chotto mitte mitai na. I kind of want to watch some more of that. Would you recommend it, Rude? Anyone watching? Or <laughs> so yeah, because you have so much family, you're kind of, uh, they kind of preach to you every day. <laughs> Shut up. Ah, nice. Thanks, Okomijin. So Okomijin wrote down there what we missed before. I could go back in the video and look at it later. But yeah, the verb there is sorateru. To bring up so he was brought up by the whole village so the ones who brought him up were this little dinosaur you see this little flying cat and everyone in the village and the way not the no was used there it made all of that into a noun basically that verb to raise to bring up was made into a noun using the no particle there so you like it my i like rue says i like it myself a lot of action Nice. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't laugh, Homura. I'm not making fun of you, don't worry. I just thought that way of thinking was very was very Rex. So I'm just kind of impressed. Ah, uh, Kaze attack. Nice. Kaze no. Kogeki desu ne. Watashi mo Rex mitai ni takusan no kazoku ga hoshiku narimashita. Makes me want to have lots of family like Rex. Nani itteru nda yo? Homura datte kazoku janai ka? So even Homura, you're like family too. So he's saying you're like family. Ho, konna basho de kokuhaku ka no. <laughs> so again, we're getting teased. 
It's a good one for Valentine's Day. We saw this word we talked about earlier. In Japanese, there's always a scene. Well, not always, but in a lot of anime, there's the kokuhaku scene. It means the, like the confession of your love scene. Where you'll say something like, Anato no koto, suki, suki. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen Igneal today. Have, not today. Maybe they're doing something for Valentine's Day, who knows. But uh, yeah, kokuhaku, this word here, means like a confession of love. And so Ji-chan is teasing Rex here and saying, so you just said she's family. What are you doing? Are you confessing your love? Is that what you're doing here? So kokuhaku could be a good word to add for Valentine's Day. What do you think? Should we add it? Why don't we? Let's go to the power-up screen. So what we've added today so far we added kowasu, that was last time actually. I for love, sabishi for lonely. Uh, ichinin for, yeah, hitori for one and futari for two. And by the way, Ru, we added romaji here, but it looks like now when I copy and paste that will create a problem, so I might want to deal with those rows, but okay, it's okay for now. But uh, yeah, why don't we add kokuhaku. Good Valentine's Day word there. Confession, like a profession of love. Maybe some people are doing that today on Valentine's Day. Probably in Japan, some people are. Let's add it. Then 296. So let's make our power level go up. Yep, da. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Scouter says almost 300, Nappa. We're getting there. We're getting there. So let's see what uh, Rex's reaction is. He's going to freak out here. Because this flying Gramps, flying cat just said, You just professed your love? Is that what you're doing? Uh, we watched anime and had hookah for Valentine's Day. Very nice, very nice. Wow, so you you confessed your love in front of your parents. Well done, Rex. Ah, <gasps> Rex, what? Chigao, it's not that it's not I didn't I didn't coca to you. Alright, alright. Check it out. We found Ya. We found Ya. Let's uh let's mark down what time we are. Let's see. I don't know if we need the uptime thing, so you don't need to hit the uptime. Uh but I'll look at what Yeah, we didn't need it, but thank you. Um so we're at 9:43 time and I'll just write that on our list for Ya. It's okay. It's okay. So we did find Ya though, so that's good. So and we're at 9.43 on Ya in episode 28. So let me just write that quick. So 28, 9.43. Nice, so we now found at least three Ya. If anyone wants to check that out, you can check on uh, our language arts page. Yatta. That's right, Okamijin, we finally found it. Let's look at what it's doing there. So let's take a look. So he's saying, no, I did not confess my love. And he's kind of expanding who he's talking about. And he uses the ya particle to do that. So homura ya niya. So people like homura and niya. Metafu ni jiku, so ni can be and as well. So he's saying all of our party members, ato, tora, so Toda as well. So everyone, all of us, Ya, meaning etc. So all you party members, like we're all family, not just Homura. So I was not confessing my love to you. Uh, Ru says, So the word you're writing there is kind of weird, Ru. <laughs> not sure what you're trying to write there. Um, but I do like, yeah, so Ryu means dragon. 
What are you trying to write there, Rue? <laughs> a water pipe? Ah, hookah? Okay. Naruto. <laughs> So yeah, it's like, to me, you're all family, so not just you. So that's what I'm trying to say. I, I won't be lonely, because you're all my friends. Ah, uh, Toxic! Yokoso! Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. If it's your first time here, Toxic, welcome. Uh, I'm a Japanese teacher. Our whole goal of this channel is to uh, learn Japanese from Japanese games. We have a couple ways we do that. Maybe you saw it before, but uh, our power level here is almost up to 300. The bottom right, every word we learn on this quest that we find in the game, people mark in the chat what words we want to learn, and we can add those to our power level. Also, each day, we have a learning target, grammar, that we learn in the game. We call them language arts. Learn a new art. You can unlock new areas in the real world in Japan in Japanese games, media, anime. So that's our goal here, to level up in the game, but really to level up in Japanese. That's our true goal. So yeah, anyone watching, if you want to join us on this journey, on this Japanese quest, feel free to follow. You can level up too, in Japanese. Yishoni. Level up Ushioze, so welcome Toxic. By the way, your name Toxic is a nice name. Be a nice name for our party. We learned the name, like we learned the word for poison in Japanese earlier. We already added it to our power level. Doku was the word. Doku. Poison. Similar to toxic. And yeah, Okabijin down here says, Kazoku ni natta. So yeah, all the uh, people Rex is saying that are in his party, they've all kind of become like family. Kazoku ni natta. So desu ne. Ah, yeah, nice. Yeah, you doku. Poisonous. So this your net. Yeah, so nice name. Maybe it'd be like Yudoku or Doku in Japanese. Let's continue with this heart to heart here. In Japanese, heart to heart's called uh Kizuna Toku. So Kizuna meaning like a connection between people and a talk about that connection. <laughs> so as expected, you've got you've got no guts. <laughs> you've got no guts to like really profess your love. Yeah, I'm ready. So it sounds like maybe she's ready to, to have a more deep conversation about their feelings. What are you talking about, the two of you? Nice. Kanyo. So we finished that heart to heart. And nice. Looks like we got some new skills out of it. Ooh, and we leveled up some of our uh, abilities there. So Homura has a long way to go. So this yo ne. We can't get the new skill because Homura. We're on uh, the wrong character right now. Let's change. Yosha. Ah, uh, their trust is increased. Yatta. Uh, you should be able to start the quest for Hana JD. Yeah, do you think we should do that soon? What do you think? To get the final form of Hana would be nice. So Toxic. Or should I say Doku? <laughs> so Toxic, have uh, you studied Japanese or are you studying Japanese? What brings you to Japanese quests? Or have you just played this game? Our goal here is to have fun playing the game and learn Japanese while doing it. I am a Japanese teacher in the US, so that's kind of the goal with this channel. Have some fun gaming, have some fun learning Japanese at the same time. Yosha. And now, 
why don't we travel back and do that boss battle again? Gambarimasu. Maybe let's quick save, though. I only speak English a little. Ah, Nihonjin desu ka? Are you a Japanese person? Shinakatta. Ego, jose desu ne. Ah, narodo. Doko no shishin desu ka? Where are you from? Ore wa ninen kan Yamaguchi ken ni sundemashita. I lived for two years in Yamaguchi Prefecture in Japan. Demo ima. America ni sundemasu. America de Nihongo no kyoshi desu yo. Etto ne. Ja. Let's, uh, what was I doing here? Yeah, let's save the game quickly. Let us save here. Yosh. And let's try this boss on for size again. Nihon no doko desu ka? Where are you from in Japan? Let's see. I think we're here. And the boss should be down there. Ikimashou! Gambarimasu! Sa, ikimashou! That's right. Let's go. Let's maybe have Hikari. よっしゃ、光光水。Let's Let's go light light water to start. Hopefully we'll not die here. Okay, should we try another combo? Start with fire, how about? Let's go for ice now. Kori. Kori de. Gambaro. Start rock, maybe? Gambari mas. We prefer fire here, I think. Ah, Tokushima! Sugoi! So you're from Tokushima, Japan. Very nice. Anyone in chat, have you been to Tokushima before? Let's try wind. So I think we have now...
How many orbs do we have there? We have three, I believe. Let's try fire again. Alright, let's try fire again. Use transform before chain attacking. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Oh, I hope I don't die right here. I should transform now. And just do it, probably. I can't do it yet. Let's go to my healer. Let's go into survival mode here. Okay, I get some healing. Come I feel like we should do our combo. If we can. Okay, we can transform now. Yosha, let's do our combo if we can. Yosha, let's do it. Okay, so let's take a look. So we want to use always Homura, right? I haven't done that many combos with her here. Um, but she breaks all of them, doesn't she? Yeah, nice. And then, so that should break. If we do water, it will break the fire. So let's do that. Yatta. Then we can do fire. Yatta. Gambarimas. Keep it going. Yatta. Okay. Try to break all four within two turns. Okay, that is our, that is our goal. So. Uh, wind is good for breaking ice. So let's do that. Yatta. Yatta. Full burst. Yatta! I was hoping we'd kill him with that. And we get in the bonus too. Yatta! I forgot how powerful full burst is. Yatta! Level up shimashita! Yatta ze! Kachimashita ne! Mo mo mo! Bring in the mo hype! Arigato ru! Yeah, that was a nice win. What is this? So I guess we found someone's like driver's license from like hundreds of years ago. <laughs> so what is it? Did you find something? Ah, uh, no, it's nothing. Yatta! Arigato! Cheer! Arigato Thank you, Great Ape Greg. Uh, breaking orb gives 20%. Second broken orb in the same round gives 30. So breaking two orbs with one, two rounds is 50% plus 50% full burst. Nice. Yatta, yatta. Dekimashita. We got the ape power too. So 
so yeah, I got kind of derailed by all that we were talking about, but so Aniki Mokiteremo, so they're also coming, so what are you talking about? I think he's asking. Uh, uh, so understood. Yeah. So I think he's freaking out because it looks like he found the driver's license for this Pokemon, this monster here. Masaka. Masaka. Could it be? So who is this? Yeah, exactly. It was like some woman, I guess, transformed into this thing. Imagine you don't die. You just like become a monster like that. Which would you prefer? Dying and nothing happens or becoming a giant monster? It's a philosophical question, I guess. Ah, so there's the world tree. Should we, are we going up? That looks really hard. Ah, toxic! Yokozo! Japanese Quest away! Welcome to Japanese Quest! Ishoni! Level up! Shimashou! Ego de! Nihongo de! Game de! Tsuyoku naru! Yosha! Yeah, it looks kind of like uh, an ID from school, right, Ru? So desu yo ne. Yatta, welcome, welcome. Ishoni Tabini Ikimasho. So it's not far from going up from here, it shouldn't be too far, I think he said. Or not any yeah, farther from the from the uh cloud sea. Uh kinda missed that because it went quick. I got Distracted by toxic and uh, the cheers and everything. So as always, you're very optimistic. So I understand the details, but... So I can't just... I can't just, you know, watch this guy next to us. I can't overlook this guy. So, yeah, that's true, isn't it? So, yeah, we don't need you anymore. So, yeah. Uh, so we'll we'll not take you in right now, but after this, after we get through here, we're gonna arrest you. We're gonna take you in. So yeah, that's my duty to do that. And if you don't go along with it, yeah, we'll, we'll do it anyway. You understand that, right? Kagutsuchi. Understood. Another monster? This time, where are they coming from? It's different. Up there. Eh? Uh, they found Shin. It's their ship, the Monokerosu. So what is this? So why is Shin with them? Yeah, so... We can save time if we... Find them both. We can get all of them right now. What is it? Understood. What, is it Shin? Yes. He says, don't do anything. So in other words, Shin is on our side now, I guess, at least for now. So, teo dasuna, meaning, don't, don't attack. Don't put your hands on them. So why? This is the best chance right now. I told you, don't do anything. 
don't lay your hands on them. Sugoi! That's the power of hockey there. Luffy uses that power in One Piece. Sugoi. Eh. So where did he get that power from? Was he hiding that power? So I don't know what happened there, but... Okay, let's go along with this. What? So once in a while doing this crazy stuff is necessary? True, this is not bad. This kind of Shin is the first time I've seen it. First time I've seen Shin like this. So Hajimete, we haven't really talked about it too much, but it means the first time. Then Miru, to see. So Hajimete, Miru, the first time I've seen Shin like this. So let's get Shin. So once we do it, let's climb the world tree. Understood. Roger. Naruto. I guess we're going to lose a party member here. Zanen desu ne. Kagutsuchi. Kagutsuchi. Oh my wa. So he's talking to her. So I don't usually like have you guys heard this phrase like uh I don't know that much about it, but like when you ship someone, it means like you want two people to be a couple. Like I'm not one who really does this or ships people, but Shin just yelled to Kagutsuchi. I could kinda see these two for Valentine's Day going on a date. What do you think? Do you see it? Kagutsuchi and Shin? Uh, the way you can write that in Japanese, I think, you can write like the two names, Shin, and then Ka Gu Tsu Chi, or is it Tsu? What do you think? And then you like make a heart at the top? Domoimasuka. Great Ape Grey doesn't like it. Okamijin's not sure. <laughs> I don't know. They seem to have somewhat of a connection. Oh my god. See? He's kind of saying something to her, like he kind of cares about her. Because she asked before, what was I like back then? He, he wouldn't say it. But now he's saying, You're the same as you were back then. So mama means the same. Anotoki that time. You're the same as you were back then. So desu yo ne. Labu labu. Labu labu da ne. So kamo ne. Valentine da kara ne. Shin. So they're taking a shortcut with their uh, ship there. It's not good. Let's hurry. So we'll, if we, we don't have time, we'll get even later. Let's go. So Jichan, you knew it, didn't you? About Shin. I, I did. So why didn't she tell me about it? So he's different from Mets, Mets from Melos. Uh, yeah, so if I told you that, then you'd kind of feel sorry for him, I thought. So in actuality, like, what do you think? So we, mo we have to take down both of them. We need to defeat Metsu and Shin. No matter what, that's what we gotta do. So that is the fate, Shukume, fate of Homura and Hikari. So our blade, basically, so it's our fate too. 
So because of that, I, I was quiet, didn't tell you. So their fate. So for you, yeah, they're taking, taking on your life, right? They gave him life. So what can you take on to help them? So without faltering, like, can you live? Can you do this? If that's the case, then it's already decided. It's okay. So me, Hikari, and Homura as well. Homura to Hikari mo. So ka. In that case, I won't say anything. So I guess he's saying that he'll, you know, take on, he'll protect all of them. So, Omae, you, Nozomu, to hope for, Michi, path. So, all together, Omae no Nozomu Michi. So, the path that you desire, you can take that path. And this is important too. Omae you jishin, omae jishin. So trust yourself. Shinjite. Shinjiru to trust. Te form means shinjite, like a command, like you need to trust yourself. What are you doing over there, you guys? Let's go. So Gigi. He didn't like being called Gigi because it means like he's an old. He's really old, basically. <laughs> Sorry, let's go. I'm coming. Yosha. Sekaiju. So we're finally, finally at the world tree. Yatta. And we leveled up, so let's get our new skills here. Yatta. So where are we on the map now? Are we in a new zone? No, we're still in Morusu. Okay, but we're almost up to the world tree, it looks like. Moskoshi. A little bit more. Ikimashou. And yeah, anyone just joining? Welcome to Japanese Quest. Feel free to shout out any words. We can add those to our power level. We're almost at 300. Almost at 300 for, for all the words we've learned so far on this quest, so far on this channel. So if you're watching, you can suggest words too in the chat there. And we can level up even more in Japanese. Ishoni. Level up Ushioze. Sekaiju de. At the World Tree, we will level up. Hana JD quest can take a while. So it would be good to start it soon. Yeah, why don't we do that? It's a good quest, because you get the final form of Hana. Yeah, why don't we maybe start that tomorrow? And go a bit more here. Nani? Nani, nani, nani. It's taking a while. It must, must be something. Eh? Alright, so this level, this area 47 was closed off. I see. So it's faster than expected. So we've been seeing the uh, the kind of earth heat in the earth has been rising rapidly. So it seems like this this continent then won't last much longer. 
So along with uh, the life expectancy of this uh, Titan here. The ether, which is like the blood of the Titan, is also raising its temperature. So it might be smart to go to Gouda faster than we thought. Okay, so it seems like we just sent Ryoji over there. We still haven't explained to Gouda enough what's going on. So it looks like they're having to evacuate, but they're not ready yet. So we don't want to have them, you know, get mad at us if we do that. We want to avoid that. That verb down there, sakeru, saketai, we would like to avoid any hankan, any like antipathy, any bad feelings. So yeah, we, we don't really have much more time. Yeah, it's not just me. So even, even Gouda, with all of their, you know, fertile land. So even in Gouda, their lose like their crops are going down. So this is kind of the main point here. Sekai Zentai. So the whole world. World whole. So the whole world is screaming. Hime o So the whole whole world is screaming, basically. All the continents are dying. Imagine if you live in Japan, if you live in the US, imagine if the continent you live on was dying and will sink into the ocean. That would be That'd be alarming. Is there something you're thinking about, Majesty? No, it's just, I'm just thinking things. So, older sister, where are you? Where are you right now? Sugoi, we finally made it, the world tree. Okay, so the big kind of, uh, the big kind of, like, recess in the clouds has almost went away. So yeah, because that made the serpent, that's why it's gone away now, I guess? I see. So, kieta koto de. So, koto makes this into a verb here. Kieta to disappear. So, once the serpent went away, when that happened, kieta koto de. So, this big kudo, uh, this big, like, uh, I guess it was like this kind of big whirlpool of clouds or whatever, went away as well. Naruhoro. So it might have it might have gone up there, I guess, above the clouds. So it seems like we gotta climb. But yeah, uh seems like, it's going to be a challenge to climb it. Let's go there. Homura. Homura? Where? Eh? What kind of weird tree is this? Okashi desu ne. Sekaiju no naka ga konna ni natte. Okay, so now we're inside. Naka. Inside. So we're inside the world tree. Sekaiju no naka. 
So this is what it's like. How can it be like this inside the world tree? Is what Rex is saying. And I will agree. Kind of strange for tree. So yeah, around this man-made tower, there's all these, like this giant plant is wrapped around it essentially. So if we ride this, it looks like we can we can go up. Go up? What did you do? I don't even understand well myself. So my body kind of uh somehow remembered what to do by itself. This must also be the power of the Master Blade that my father, God, gave me. So we must hurry. So I just remember instinctually. So Hono, instinct. So I remember instinctually how to go up, I guess. But Metsu, also an Aegis, he is the same. Metsu mo onaji. So because of that, we need to hurry because he's going to go up there too. So Metsu too. So it looks like a, an elevator. And it's all covered in glass. So go ahead. Yeah. yeah, nice word, Ru, meaning instinct. Hono. Uh, so I guess the prince, he doesn't like high places. Uh oh. Let's go. Yosha. So now, are we finally in the world tree? I think so. Let's look at our teleporter. Or skip travel. Skip Uchaburu. And it says... It says, still says Morusu no Chi, doesn't it? So we're still not technically in the world tree yet. But we got a new teleporter. A new skip travel location. And I think that might be a good place to end the stream today. Because now we are inside the world tree. Oh no, fell in the water. We can start up here again next time, and maybe uh, we can get the final form of Poppy. Because she has three forms, we have two of them, and she has one more, the fully, like, adult form. So we can try to do that. It's one of the best quests in the game. So we definitely want to do that before we fully climb the world tree. Yosha! So why don't we leave it there today? Mina, kyo wa tanoshikatta! Let's see who's streaming. Maybe we can host someone. Uh, so let's see who's streaming here for a second. Anyone tomorrow who wants to join us again will be streaming again 8 o'clock Central Time in Japan. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. All right, so I don't see that person really streaming. Uh, but it looks like this person is. So why don't we host Hiso again? It looks like they're playing Battle Royale, PUBG. A lot of the Japanese streamers stream PUBG. Yeah, Ru3K. Konbanwa. Oyasuminasai. Uh, so yeah, good night. Hope you have good dreams as well. So let's uh, leave it there and let's see if I can do backslash host to host. And uh, yeah, if you go over there, say hello. You can say... Japanese quest sent you. Mina, otsukai-sama deshita. Kyo wa honto ni tanoshikatta. Thanks for the bits earlier, Great Ape Greg, and the new nakama, toxic, doku-san. Kyo wa tanoshikatta. Mata, ashita ne.